let's go. Detroit border is part of the culture. It's a deep base, we betray you on the poster. You know the facts, so why we test the road? Kill and get hate, deadly handles our exposure, true composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round, first What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Piston Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell button. 70% of you guys are not subscribed. I don't know why I don't cost you anything, not even a nickel or a dime. Let's get in today's video. Before you do that, click the link in the description for some cool Piston gear, man. But should the Pistons take on a bad contract like a Julius Randle or like, um, like a... Um, Gordon Hayward type of contract to get future assets to get more draft picks. I think we should for next year's draft, and here's why they got special kids. Let me talk about the first one, and I think his name is Cam Whitmer. He's a powerful, um, athlete, six foot seven forward, is elite above the rim. Um, one of the most powerful dunkers in this class can handle ball in open court. Has a nice touch from mid range and and is developing a perimeter offense. A very high energy player who defends all over the court and sells in transition. Man, he is aggressive. Puts a lot of pressure on the rim. Um, he is a Villanova guy. He's definitely caught my eye. Very one of the most intriguing prospects in this draft. And like I said, next year's draft is super, 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 um, super, super, super crazy. That's why I wonder, should we take on Andrew Wiggins? Um, you know, a Julius Randle contract, you know, for some future ad sets, you know. And I think it will work out great and greatly for us. Another one is Jet Howard. Um, I think he's a four-star recruit. I ain't got too much on him, but I don't think I think he's above average athlete, can get to the rim. Um, three level scorer. I think he's ready. He is the one Howard son. He will be playing at Michigan. I think he's about six six, six seven. Definitely one of the more interesting prospects. I wouldn't be surprised if he was on more people draft radars by the time the draft comes, but I really like him as well. I'm a Michigan State fan, but I really think he's gonna be uh, one of the biggest deals in, this up, uh, in the 2023 draft. Um, that's why I want the next year's draft. It's absolutely crazy. So. If I was the Pistons, I'd definitely be willing to take on bad contracts and definitely think about it, you know, for one of these guys. Because I think these guys, even these guys are even later. He's probably going to be later in the first round. But like even these guys, even from like 16 to 30, you can get, you know, same guys who might be able to be game changers. That's how deep next year's draft is. But let's talk about a big man prospect, seven footer, Derek Lively. Um, he's going to be playing that Duke. He is. He's got a good frame already with plenty of room to add weight. He is a stringer seven footer who flies above the rim as a force in the paint. Despite not having a ton of bulk, his athleticism is special for a player. Likely is a game changer on the defensive end, altering and blocking a ton of shots. He has a he has quick feet and agility as a guard and space will become more of a impactful defender when he fills out the train. His offensive game has been blossoming over the past year. Now he has three point range and is a nice feel for the offensive end, a good passer for a big Playing with his heads up and seeing the core well, adding lower body strength will be a key for him if he moves up in the NBA level. Likely high level center prospect, but probably would be a step below of elite talent, which is raising crest at the NBA level. I don't care what they saying, this dude gonna be special. They give him well. Uh, Will and Connor sign, I could see that. I could see him being way better than him or Tyson Chandler. Um, probably a lot of your pick next year for sure. This guy going to be special. Um, 
I'm seeing he might be in the top four, 14 or 15 or fall down to 14 or 15. The Pistons can get somebody like this at 14 or 15, or they can get another guy. Because y'all got to remember, our pick is still ours, one through, uh, I believe, 18. So I don't think, I think we still going to have a pick from next year, and we can have a add on another pick. So um, next year class is kind of a game changer for adding two lottery picks in my opinion that's what i would do um but i like this dude got a lot of skills um three level big man which i like um like his game just look at him straight beat you know what i mean so it's up to you guys what you think um yeah Derek lively um i'm not do prospects is kind of interesting they don't work out but some of them do um another one i think his name is um i don't know how to say his last name his first name but it's where um he's gonna be at oregon he's another seven footer big time athlete show explosive above the rim has really good size long arm solid fan will carry a lot of muscle a lot of weight when he grows older has a decent Handle and passing ability needs to play more consistent. And he can reach his skilling, ceiling, but sky is the limit for him. They saying Jerry Allen and Lamarcus Aldridge mix mid range has a lot of emerging, a lot of has also emerging mid range and three pointer ball like young Aldridge. Yeah, man, um, this is a dude that I like too. I know he's another big man prospect, but these are the guys that I look like. I don't think we will be, and I don't think we'll be in the top to grab like a Scoot Henderson or a Victor Young Mama. I don't think we're going to be that bad, but you guys let me know what you think. Um, yeah, next draft um, year is looking crazy. I definitely won't. I wouldn't mind if it's piss and take on a bad contract for a guy but who can fit our team right now and, and get future assets a future pick next year draft just because it's so talented so so talented next year but let me know it's your boy pissing the mic make sure you like share comment subscribe hit that notification bell button make sure you click the link for some cool pissing gear man i'm out peace